Hello everyone and I welcome you to Banking IQ and in Banking IQ today I will discuss the current affairs of 7th of February 2019 this video will be in English okay and today I had also uploaded a video on vocab so if you haven't watched this video you can watch it from the link given in description okay and my name is Kumar Gaurav and let's start the current affairs so the first question is who was appointed ambassador of India to Argentina so the ambassador the new ambassador of India to Argentina is Dinesh Bhatia Dines Bhatia and the capital of Argentina is Buenos Aires and the currency is Piso and the president of Argentina is Mauricio Macri and B.S. Mubarak has been appointed the ambassador of India to uh, Honduras. Tell me where is the capital of Honduras and the currency what is the currency of Honduras. Okay. Comment me the answer of these questions. Okay. And Sanjeev Ranjan. Sanjeev Ranjan is uh, ambassador of India. Okay. To Colombia. To Colombia and the capital of Colombia is uh, Bogota and the currency of Colombia is also Piso. Okay. Who has been appointed Civil Aviation Secretary of India? So the new, the newly appointed Civil Aviation Secretary is Pradeep Singh Kharola. Pradeep Singh Kharola and he earlier he was holding the post of CMD of Air India. Okay. And he will be succeeding Rajiv Nayan Chaube. And Rajiv Nayan Chaube has been appointed as the member of UPSC. Okay. And UPSC chairman is Anil Kumar Saxena. Okay, and Civil Aviation Minister is Suresh Prabhu and MOS in Civil Aviation Ministry is Jayant Sina and Amit Khare is Secretary of Ministry of IB means Information and Broadcasting. Diadri O'Brien has become the go uh, global retail head of which company? So Diadri O'Brien has become the global retail head of Apple. Apple and the uh, CEO of Apple is Tim Cook. Parliamentary Committee on Information Technology has summoned Twitter India over its right-wing bias. Who is heading this committee? So, Parliamentary Committee on Information Technology and the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has summoned Twitter India over its right-wing bias because the accounts, the Twitter account of those members who, has, who belongs to right-wing are being blocked by the Twitter India. Okay. So, this committee has summoned him. Okay. Summoned uh, the head of twitter india that is balaji chris okay so the this committee this parliamentary committee is headed by anurag thakur anurag thakur and he is mp member of parliament in lok sabha from bjp okay from bjp party of bjp party and he is mp from hamirpur hamirpur that is in himachal pradesh okay and the cm of himachal pradesh is jairam thakur the robot boss center for data science and artificial intelligence has been inaugurated at so this uh, robot boss center for data and uh, data science and artificial intelligence has been inaugurated at in uh, indian institute of technology De uh, madras okay madras and iit hyderabad is the first iit in india to launch a full fledged bachelor course btech for uh, btech course in artificial intelligence so it has become the first iit in india Pradhan Mantri Jan Arog Yojana PMJAY also called Ayushman Bharat Yojana okay has uh, app has been launched on Google Play Store who is the CEO of Pradhan Mantri Jan Arog Yojana so the CEO of Pradhan Mantri Jan Arog Yojana is Indu Bhushan Indu Bhushan and please note that Ayushman Bharat Yojana is the world biggest world largest government funded health scheme okay and it was launched by PM Narendra Modi uh, on 23rd of September 2018 okay in Jharkhand Ranchi how much did the Karnataka a sports ministry seek from the center for promoting a sports and building infrastructure so the government of Karnataka okay and the sports ministry of Karnataka has seek the fund of 500 crores from the center okay and uh, Karnataka CM is SD Kumaraswamy and Karnataka capital is Bengaluru and a sports authority of India so the DG of a sports authority of India is Neelam Kapoor and the sports minister of India is Rajvardhan Singh Rathor external affairs minister Sushma Suraj and Nitin Gadkari who is the road and transport minister has inaugurated 30th national road safety week in so this uh, national road safety week has been inaugurated in New Delhi okay the capital city okay and the theme of 30th national road safety week is Sadak Suraksha Jeevan Raksha okay so please remember the theme 
The next is ISKCON Global Headquarter World Heritage Center with its estimated cost of 3000 crore will be set up in so this World Heritage Center will be set up in 45 countries across the world okay and this in India it will be uh, it will be opened in Mayapur in Mayapur it will be set up in Mayapur which is in West Bengal and the cost is about 3000 crores okay which country had announced to create two land based long range hypersonic and cruise missiles during 2019-20 so the country which has announced the uh, announced to create two missiles two land based long range hypersonic and cruise missile is russia is russia and please remember the announcement has came just after the cancellation of the INF treaty okay INF treaty which was signed between USA and Russia in 1987 and the full form of INF is uh, intermediate uh, missile I intermediate range nuclear force missile okay and it was a treaty signed between USA and Russia okay but uh, now it has been cancelled Axis Bank Yoko Axis Bank Yoko Bank and Syndicate Bank are penalized with a total of how much by RBI for violating the guidelines in regulatory compliance so axis bank yuko bank and syndicate bank uh, are had been fined has been imposed uh, rbi has imposed fine of total of 5.2 crores okay 2 crores fine has been imposed on axis bank 2 crores on yuko bank and 1.2 crore uh, fine has been imposed on syndicate bank by rbi okay and it is for violating the guidelines in regulatory compliance okay and uh, RBI Reserve Bank of India, the headquarter of RBI is in Mumbai, okay. And uh, uh, the governor of I RBI is Sakti Kanta Das, he is 25th governor of RBI. The government push to Uzwala Yojana has made India world's dash largest LPG consumer. So, due to the push of government, due to the government push to the Uzwala Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Uzwala Yojana, uh, after the launch of this uh, this scheme okay india had become world second largest consumer of lpg liquid petroleum gas okay according to oil marketing company how many free lpg connections under the pradhan mantri yojwala yojana had been distributed across the country so according to the omc means oil marketing company total of 6.23 crores lpg connection has been provided Okay, has been provided under this Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana and it was launched uh, by PM Narendra Modi in 2017, okay, uh, ahead of the UP election, Uttar Pradesh election, assembly election, okay, and it was launched in Baliya, Uttar Pradesh. Manipuri filmmaker who returned his Padma Sri award, which he received in 2006 as a mark of protest against Modi government's citizenship bill on 3rd February 2019. Who is he? So the Manipuri filmmaker who has returned his Padma Sri award, okay, is Aribam Syam Sarma. Aribam Syam Sarma and Manipur. So the capital of Manipur is Imphal and the CM of Manipur is N. Biren Singh and the governor of Manipur is Najma Heptullah. Najma Heptullah. Second World Count Festival 2019 held in. So the Second World Count Festival 2019 has held in Pune. Pune and please remember Sopan festival Sopan 2019 festival is a uh, music festival okay music and arts festival it was held in New Delhi it was a six day festival and in Mumbai Kala Ghoda festival a street festival it is a street uh, festival it has been held in Mumbai Kala Ghoda Azerbaijan Grand Prix has extended the contract to host Formula One races in Baku a street circuit deal. So Azerbaijan Grand Prix has extended the contract by five years and earlier it was till 2018. Now it has been extended by five years. So it will be uh, till 2023. Okay, 2023 and the capital of Azerbaijan is Baku. Okay, and the currency of Azerbaijan is Manat. And please remember Manat is also the currency of Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan okay MHA means Ministry of Home Affairs had banned which organization of Kashmir for its involvement in various terror acts so earlier uh, recently uh, Ministry of Home Affairs has extended the ban on Simi okay and the ban was extended by five years okay and now it uh, MHA has banned the Kashmir organization who uh, speak for the freedom of Kashmir is TUM Tehrik ul Mujahideen, Tehrik ul Mujahideen 
and the ban has been imposed for its involvement in various terrorist activities across the state. India's 40th, 40th communication satellite GSAT-31 was launched from so India's 40th communication uh, satellite GSAT-31 was launched by ISRO uh, from French Guiana from French Guiana and Sri Hari Kota uh, is in Andhra Pradesh okay Satish Dhawan Space Center Sri Hari Kota Andhra Pradesh okay so please remember and uh, talking about uh, something to know about G set 31 okay it is a it has an operational life of over 15 years and it will replace inset 4 cr satellite okay and G set 31 is india's 40th communication satellite in the space and G set 31 has a lift of mass of 2536 kg so the weight of this satellite is 2536 kg and the isro chairman is k Shivan. And G, uh, GSAT 11 was also launched from uh, French Guiana. Okay, GSAT 11, which is called the powerful bird of ISRO, was also launched from uh, French Guiana. Which state had announced to set up a high powered five member committee to prepare a comprehensive action plan to boost the dairy sector? So, the state which has announced to set up a high powered five member committee to boost the dairy sector is Punjab. Is Punjab and the announcement has been made by the CM of Punjab that is Amrinder Singh and the governor of Punjab is VP Singh Badnor. And please remember that Punjab had recently declared its state aquatic animal okay and that is uh, Indus River Dolphin. Indus River Dolphin and this dolphin uh, this rare kind of mammal has uh, is found in Bias River in Bias River. Sangeet Natak Academy Award for Performing Arts in India is presented by so this uh, award is presented by the President of India okay and the Sangeet Natak Academy Award 2017 has been announced and it has been conferred to 42 personalities of India okay in the field of arts okay and uh, in this award uh, cash prize of 1 lakh rupees is uh, conferred to the winner okay to the awardees and a certificate of excellence is also uh, provided by the president of india and the current president of india is ramnath kovind and he is 14th president of india which state is planning to expand the millet village scheme to several districts following the successful trial run so this state which is going to expand this millet village scheme is kerala is kerala and the capital of kerala is thiruvananthapuram okay thiruvananthapuram and pinarayi vijayan is cm of kerala odisha mp Laddu Kishore Swan passed away at the age of 71. He was Lok Sabha MP from. So, Odisha MP Laddu Kishore Swan uh, was Lok Sabha MP from Aska. Aska, uh, it's in Odisha, okay. And he was Lok Sabha MP in the current Lok Sabha session, okay. Means he was elected in 2014, okay. So, he had died, he had passed away. And Lok Sabha speaker is uh, Sumitra Mahajan. Ramesh Bhatkar passed away at the age of 70 after battling cancer for over one and a half years. He was a, so Ramesh Bhatkar was a Marathi actor, Marathi actor, okay. And the recent movie of Ramesh Bhatkar was the accidental prime minister. He was seen in uh, recent, recently in the movie called the accidental prime minister, which was based on the book of Sanjay Baru, Sanjay Baru. And the name of that book was also The Accidental Prime Minister. And this movie has featured Anupam Kher. Anupam Kher and Akshay Khanna. Okay. So this was the current affairs for today. I hope you had liked the video. Please share the video. Please subscribe my channel if, if you haven't. Okay. And please comment. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.